Well, good morning. Uh, welcome to another vlog. I get that on weekends. Today's Sunday. You'll probably see in this way in the future. Uh, Sunday, 3rd of June. Um, we had a wedding yesterday, which you may have already seen um, if you follow me. We're in the Hope Valley in the Peak District and we're heading up to possibly up to Mother Cap, which I think is that one up there. I think that's Mother Cap, a uh, surprise view somewhere around here. Um, we're just going to follow this path up for now and see where we head. We're going to head up that way. Um, it's dead warm, or it is for the UK anyway. Uh, got my big bag on because in a few weeks' time, in a few weeks' time, I'm going to be going up to Scotland and then Snowdon doing Ben Nevis, Snowdon and Scarfield Pike three peaks. So I've got my big bag on for a bit of exercise. Not sure if we're going to get a photograph out of it today. Never been here before. So a uh, bit of a recce, have a look round. I know there's lots of people been up in these hills before. So let's see what we can find. And let's see if we can actually find a composition that works in this quite harsh sunlight. But there is a lot of clouds in the sky, so you never know. We might find something that works. But for now, I'm going to head up, try and find somewhere to get a good view from. And I'll speak to you when we get to the top. Right, we haven't walked far. Um, we were just up on the top up there and uh, Denise has spotted this little bridge just here and we spotted it from up the top and we've come down to have a look and as you can see down here you've got this nice little S curve leading you up to the bridge. We've got some trees behind it, I'm not sure whether the trees work or not, whether they're a bit of a distraction. Um, so I'm going to have a look around here, I've got my tripod out and a uh, slightly smaller one today. I've got my tripod out, I'm going to set up a composition somewhere around here but I'm just going to have a have a look, see if I can get something, because I'm not quite sure about the trees, as you can see the trees in the background there, they're a, I think they're a bit of a distraction over the top of the bridge, so if I can eliminate them somehow, and keep this curve in, I'll uh, get an image, and I'll get back to you. see we've got the uh, river running down I'm set up in a vertical uh, composition portrait shape just so I can get this S curve leading up into the bridge um, hopefully you can hear me I've got the different mic on today I'm using the M50 instead of my GoPro we've just waited about 10 minutes for the light to come across because the light was up on the top of the hills um, but it wasn't lighting the bridge I've got a polarizer on um, it's making the water really 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 dark which is quite cool and we're at f8 ISO 100 and I've got about one and a half, 1.3 seconds which is just smoothing out this water. There's a few bubbles in it which is quite nice. So yeah, the exposure is pretty good. I'm trying to keep the highlights out. There's a little bit of sky in the top of the image. Two second timer. Try and shade the viewfinder. It's a bit different, it's alright. The contrast between the light greens and the dark, dark water is pretty good. So yeah. That's one done. I've just noticed there was a dog running down there, so we could be in the image. I didn't spot him before, so we'll have a look and see how we get on with that. If not, I'll take another one before the light disappears. Oh my god, you won't be able to see it. There's a guy up on the rocks, right up in the distance there, that's hopping around on a back wheel on a mountain bike on the top of the rocks. That's bonkers. I'll zoom in, see if you can see him. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, yeah, I took a, took a photograph down there, down on the on the little bridge as we came up. Uh, the path's getting a bit boggy in places, up to your ankles if you're not careful where you're stepping. Uh, we're gonna make our way up, we're gonna keep going up that way till we get to the top of there. I'm definitely going up to that little tree. Battery just went dead, so 
But yeah, this is a, a wicked place to come back to. Amazing rocks, all of this, all around here, there's woodlands and everything. So I'll be coming back in a cooler day. All right, for now, we're gonna carry on going up that way. Right, well we've made it to the top of the first bit, 360 degrees, pretty uh, pretty cool really, the rocks up here are amazing, uh, Denise just took a picture of me stood up on the edge of this one, I know, stupid, what if you fall, um, I'm contemplating on the idea of photographing those boulders there, uh, I like the idea of this foreground going off to this one and then that one in the distance and then the mountains off in the distance um, not sure how it'll work yet until I get the camera out but either from here or from the next one but definitely coming back up here when the heather's out because it's covered in heather up here and uh, I reckon it'll look pretty awesome um, with all the purple heathers so yeah we'll come back up here in a month or so's time and have another go but yeah, see the way the rocks now are all lit up. They look pretty cool there. See if I can focus on them in the background. So yeah, get the camera out and we'll have a look, see what we get up to. Camera's set up, uh, as you can see. We've got the camera, we've got the boulder in the front, or the, you know, the boulder in the grass, the boulder in the grass, and you've got the boulders stacked up in front of that. Um, I've already taken an image. Um, I took one to try it just before I actually switched this camera back on. Um, but now I've got two people sat on the rock in the distance, so I probably won't take another one. Um, the settings wise, I was, I'm on aperture priority, just because I've got it ready in my bag, then when I pick it up, when I haven't got to mess around with manual. Um, aperture priority, I'm on F10, which is giving me a little bit of depth of field. Oh, they've just jumped off the rocks now. A little bit of depth of field, so it should be sharp from front to back. Um, no polarizer, no filters, no anything. Uh, the sun's coming out across the rocks now, lighting all this up, and the sky is quite well balanced. Uh, the histogram's pretty good. So yeah, uh, it's giving me a shutter speed of 250 of a second. So that's good enough, really. Um, quite a nice little image. It's uh, stacked up. I'm going to try getting a bit closer. Um, I've got the wide-angle lens on, um, 1635, and I'm at about 20, 21 mil. Um, so I might move forward. I've got to be careful because my shadows, if I go too wide, but this is quite a nice little image because you've got these little bits of flower or blossom at the bottom. So I think it's quite well balanced. But yeah, I'll have another mooch around. There's definitely a few more compositions to be had up here. The conditions aren't perfect, but with the clouds, uh, well, I don't know actually, with the clouds, they're pretty much working on it. You can see up above me there, it's a nice uh, graze in the clouds. So you never know what we're going to get. Um, at night gets a nice patchy light actually over in the background. So I'd like to get this uh, tour, or whatever you call it, up on the top. See if I can set up some composition leading a few rocks, leading me up that pathway. So I'll have a look round, and I'll come back to you as soon as I've found something. Right, we're set up again. Uh, this time we've got this um, this big boulder that's balanced on the edge, and it is quite balanced. There's a tiny rock stuck underneath it, and it's got a line going with this foreground here with the camera pointing down. I've got this little bit of heather down in the foreground, and it's leading you up to this edge coming up onto the rock, and the rock's taking you around. There's also a path that leads you up from this side. Yeah, we're advertising a workshop. Um, we're hooking up, two become ones and all that and uh, we're going to be doing a couple of workshops in and around the North Wales area. Yeah, it's a maximum of six. Um, we are going to put on a second workshop in December and we're heading towards the 13th, Friday the 13th. Good luck, eh? You know what Jason's <laughs> yeah. like, he'd be losing something, wouldn't he? There'd be, a new, there'd be a new bag or something down the mountain somewhere or we you know very close to water. We know what he's like with his camera. I think he's still waiting for his camera to come back here. No, no. Have you got, got it, it back? back yeah, he's got yeah. it back, or he's got it back, so we can lose that one again. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the Friday the 13th, 
Saturday and Sunday the 15th. So yeah, if you're interested in that, please contact either me on, I'll put a link below here, paulcomptonpdphotography.co.uk or contact Jason, it's jasonjonesphotography.co.uk. So I'll put both the links and we'll put them in the description. Um, he'll tell you, he'll actually like tell you. Yeah. No, 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 I'll get him to tell you. Well, Christmas where. is coming up. Um, so I would uh, get your missus to uh, buy you a nice present oh, and what book a, uh, that'd be a, nice a workshop. Gift. Yeah. yeah. Around. There's also a path that leads you up from this side. Um, it's just taking off into the hills. Now the hills and the rocks up in the top there are all in shadow, which I quite like the difference between the two. This is all lit up by the sun and that's in shadow with the clouds. Uh, I quite like the two contrasts. Um, I'm going to probably hang around and see if that illuminates and see whether it works with that, you know, lit up as well. But at the moment, I actually quite like the two differences um, and the bright clouds behind it. So, yeah, that's another image taken. So we have got a couple today after all. So you never know what you're going to find. And I think it's time for me to set up for a selfie as well. You know I've got it. too hot now sun's beaming down sweating got my shorts on can't take the heat roll on the winter that's all I can say right I've set up uh, for another wide angle shot um, now I know you're seeing this in the future but at the moment there's a few people talking about uh, using wide angle lenses and this is probably one of those classic uh, reasons why what I'm trying to do is this rock that's in the ground I'm trying to blow it right out and get it as big as possible in the foreground. Massive root boulder, again, really big and emphasizing the boulder. Um, it's big anyway. Um, and then over in the distance then, going up to the rocks on the top of the hill. Um, not a bad little image really. The clouds make the sky look quite nice. And there's a little pool of water in the bottom, which I think just sets it off really. It gives you a little bit of foreground interest just to set your eye down and send it up. So. Uh, Two second timer again, and I'm on aperture priority, which is f10, and I've focused on the rock. So I'll take the image, and you tell me what you think, wide angle or not. Oh, and a fly in the air. Right. Simple as peace. We're going to make a move now we're going to make a move up there we're going to go up to the top and have a look uh, i've taken a couple of images uh, like i say I've been using my wide angle lens um, and yeah a lot of people have misconstrued for a reasonable wide angle lens a wide angle lens isn't really designed to take in everything in the scene 
um, because all that does is make everything in the background look really, really small. A wide angle lens is really for emphasizing your foreground. Um, I'm sure you've all seen vlogs before where people talk about it, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but as you can see from the image I took down here, uh, the wide angle lens pulled this out really, really wide and made that look quite dominant in the image. Gave you a massive foreground, and then the boulder, and then the, you know the interest going off into the distance. So, lesson learned, or not a lesson learned, but lesson taught. Wide angle lenses aren't for getting everything in wide. Wide angle lenses are to use your foreground and emphasise your foreground and make your foreground look bigger. So, there, you may have learned something after all from me. So, right, we're going out that way. Ready? Okay. Ready. We're up at the top, as you can see. Uh, all the boulders are around us behind there. Um, we've had a bit of a sit down and had half hour in the shade, sitting underneath those rocks over there. Beautiful, the temperature was absolutely amazing. Um, all the rocks were icy cold and there was a breeze blowing through, so well impressed with that. Right, I've set the camera up, just to see if I can move out the way for you. Uh, vertical again, um, I'm shooting with a, I've got a nice leading line, if you can see down there. I've got a leading line leading me in, I've got these lovely vertical rocks sticking up there. It takes you down to the path, over to the rocks in the distance where we were before. Um, it's blowing out a little bit on there, so I'll see if I can bring this aperture down for you. Um, yeah, simple little shot, uh, nothing fancy about it, no filters, no lenses, no, uh, no lenses, no filters, no uh, polarizer or anything. Uh, bracket in the shot, one over, one under, uh, F10 again, and two second timer. Waiting for the light to be in different places, I had the light here before, so this was lighting up the rocks, and I've got the light down there in the, in the distance at the moment, so... I might just bang off another one now. So I've got light up this end, I've got light down there in that end as well. So yeah, not a bad little image. I think I can get one more from up here, maybe a vertical shot, uh, try and get a bit more in. I like these rocks on this side, so we'll set it up, we'll have a look. Got a few images up here. Uh, amazing rock formations, definitely one for different weathers and different conditions. Um, be coming back here, definitely. Um, taking a few images here, so I'll pop them up and let you have a look at them. But for now, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, don't forget, leave a comment below and like and subscribe, tell your friends. Ciao for now.